Hello and welcome. This is Pastor Jim Kibler. How you doing today? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Hey, I want to talk to you today about deliverance from fear and anxiety. This is going to be good. Amen. Turn to uh, 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, and while you're turning there, don't forget, don't forget to go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Amen. There's over 1,100 videos in here, all advanced word of faith, spirit filled teaching. People tell me nobody teaches this stuff like I do. Amen. A lot of it on the blessing, a lot of it on deliverance, a lot of it on curses. A lot of it on abundance. Amen. God wants us to live an abundant, healthy life. Above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Also, if you need prayer today, call me because my phone number is at the top of the website. How many people do you know? How many ministries do you know? Large ministries where the minister's phone number, his personal cell phone number, is at the top of the page. That's me. Amen. You can call me for prayer. And when you do, we'll get every curse out of your life. And we will speak the blessing over you. And that's where we start. Amen. We start, when you get off the phone with me, you will be on your way to a curse-free, blessed life. Glory to God, huh? Hallelujah. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today to help us send this message around the world, and we appreciate your offerings and donations so much, call me because I want to speak a blessing over your offerings, the word-for-word -word blessing that God told us to speak. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, let's look at this. In 2 Timothy, it says right here, you can see I spent a little bit of time there. It says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. How many of you know there's a spirit of love? There's a spirit of power. There's a spirit of a sound mind. And there's also a spirit of fear. Spirit of love, wonderful spirit. Spirit of power, that is wonderful. Amen. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with his power. That power of God is a wonderful thing. Amen. Glory to God. And a sound mind. God has given me a sound mind. Amen. I never forget anything. I have the mind of Christ. Glory to God. Huh? Start saying that. Start speaking that over yourself. Amen. Hey, there's three books that you need to get uh, on this series about deliverance and curses and living a blessed life. And one of them is How to Break Curses. The other one is my book, The Blessing. Which, these are all found at Amazon. And the third one is called, the third one is called The Power of Positive Words. Those three books you need if you're gonna follow along with us in this series. And this is good, amen. We're getting ready to start a uh, podcast on uh, on this. So this is going to be good. Just wait till that comes out. I'll let you know when it's there. When you go to my website, increasenow.com, opt in so you get my notifications. Amen. You get my text messages and you'll know what is being posted, the new messages that are being posted every day. Also, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get notified too. Amen. Glory to God. Fear is a spirit. It's a spirit that comes over you. I want to tell you a little story. We had an incident here at home a couple years ago. It was a catastrophic incident. Now, people have catastrophic. A catastrophic incident is something that will change your life. It was a life changing event we had right here at the house. 
and I came against it. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that to stop and be gone. In Jesus' name. And I sat down. I'm here to tell you people, this spirit of fear came over me. It was absolutely incredible. I've never felt anything like it in my life. What am I going to do? How am I going to deal with this? What's going to be the long-term effects of this? And this spirit of fear, it was, it was like, like a python spirit. We're going to talk about the python spirits. Crushing. It was literally, it's like somebody took a heavy wet blanket and not only put it over me, but tied it. Tied it tight around me. And I was just, I was bound with this fear. And I sat there with this other person who was involved. And I never said a word. I sat there. Five minutes went by. And it left. I never spoke a word. Had I spoken a word, our whole lives would have changed. Had I said one thing, now, if it would have persisted, I would have said, get out in the name of Jesus. That would have made it go away. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Let me show you somebody else who had a spirit of fear come over him. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Jairus came to Jesus, and he said, My little daughter lies at the point of death. I want to read this for you. Mark chapter 5. My little daughter dot lies at the point of death. He fell at the feet of Jesus, ruler of the synagogue. My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed and she will live, he says. He comes to Jesus in a crowd of people and asks Jesus to come to him, to, to drop everything and come to his house. Lord, drop everything. Come to my house. And Jesus went with him. Let me tell you something, folks. No matter what Jesus is doing, when you approach him in faith, he will drop everything he's doing and come with you. You have his undivided attention. Now, God showed me that in a supernatural way. How we have their undivided attention when we cry out to the Lord or when we call to the Lord or when we pray to God through Jesus. We have his undivided, we have, we have their, you, all of heaven is focused on you when you pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus went with him. Meanwhile, they were interrupted by the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus had to deal with her. After he got done with her and she got healed, he kept going. And while he was, while he was talking, somebody came from the, rule, the synagogue ruler's house, from the house of Jairus. He says, don't bother the master anymore. Your daughter is dead. D-E-D, -E -D, Dead. That's how we spell it. Dead. As a doornail. Dead. And Jesus looked at him. Now, let me ask. Let me. Uh, do you believe for one New York minute that the spirit of fear didn't come over that man? Doesn't tell us anything about the fear. But do you... 
What would what would happen to you if somebody came to you and said, "It's too late, your daughter's dead." Would you would would fear come over you? Absolutely. It would come over anybody. That would cause fear to come rushing in. But look what Jesus said. Look what Jesus said. He said, "Don't be afraid." Jesus knew the spirit of fear was there. He knew it. Let me tell you something. The Lord operated at 100% of everything every time. He had total discernment. Complete faith. He said, don't be afraid. Just believe. Now look what Jairus said. Look what he said. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, why, he didn't say nothing. He uttered not a word. The smartest thing you can do when fear comes on you is keep your mouth shut. And that's what Jairus did. Had he spoken his fear, his daughter would not have been raised from the dead. But Jesus went with him anyway and raised his daughter from the dead because he did not speak his fear. Fear is a spirit. You need deliverance from fear sometimes. You call me if this fear, if you've got fear going on in your life, I'm telling you what, and you can't get rid of it, and it's persisting fear and anxiety, because anxiety comes with it. Everybody, everybody who calls me and says, Pastor Jim, I'm feeling anxious. What you're feeling is fear. You need deliverance from that. You need that spirit to be gone. Any form of expelling spirits is deliverance. It's so simple. It's not long and drawn out. You call me, it will take me five seconds to get rid of that fear in your life. And that'll be the end of it. And then you sit down, keep your mouth shut, and it will go away. I do deliverance, folks. All sorts of healing. Everything. Getting rid of poverty. All that is a form of deliverance. And getting rid of fear, that spirit of fear, is deliverance. You call me if you need help with this, please. Don't suffer with fear and anxiety. You don't have to. My phone number is right at the top of the page. And I am always ready, willing, and able to help. Glory to God. Amen. Was that good today? Share this video with everybody you know. Please share it. Share it with 10 people today. Tell everybody about it. You don't have to live with this fear and this anxiety. It can be crippling. And we're not going to live with it. Amen. Glory to God. Call me. Don't forget when you do your offerings and donations today to help us send this message around the world and all across this country and help us send out all the free materials that we send out. Don't forget when you do your offerings and donations and your tithe, a lot of people tithe to this ministry, call me because I want to bless your offering. I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. Glory to God. You go out there, share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody to watch these videos. Nobody is doing what we're doing here. Glory to God. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much. I am determined that you're going to live a blessed life and be curse-free. In the powerful, wonderful name of Jesus.